Yo, can I talk to you for a second? Hello, my friend. It's Brother Jay. Uh, not done any Life is Strange this week. At least as far as I know. Um, got a lot of hours at work. Been really busy. But I want to go ahead and just talk today for a few minutes about something that's been on my mind. Um... I've been doing quite a bit of reading into the child having versus child free debate that's been going on in the background of pretty much all the things. As you may or may not know, a couple of years ago I decided I'm going to be child free. I had the inclination to be a parent for a good part of my life, but after turning 30, I started realizing that I would not be a fit parent and I'm also comfortable with my level of personal freedom, income allocation, availability. You know, I, I can be responsible, but I don't think being responsible for another human life, it, who will become an adult someday, is something that I'm capable of doing. Um, I just, I, I don't think I can handle it. So, I'm an advocate for adult-only spaces and child-free sections in public. Uh, this is something I'd appreciate. There's, there are also other things, such as a recognition that adult entertainment isn't just about sex and drugs and violence, nor should it be. It's possible to have adult gaming without these elements. I, uh... I've said many times I would love to have an adventure game that is for grown-ups, that handles con concepts and ideas that are beyond what a young person's mind would be able to just easily comprehend. And uh, I don't want the things I do for fun to be dumbed down or watered down or innocenced up just to cater to the young audience. Beyond being ridiculous, it's also wrong to treat children like they're stupid, just to cater to them. Yeah, they're easily amused, but they're also human beings capable of intelligent thought and analysis. So, given that childhood lasts approximately 14 years for the average human being, it's a stroke against the adult population that is required not only to care for children, but also create children altogether. You, you're not going to have kids without grown-ups. It just doesn't, doesn't work. Uh, society, I feel, caters way too much to children, focusing too much energy and resources towards them and very little towards the adults. Uh, in fact, there's a... There's kind of a little thing that I just thought of in recent years when I looked at the situation I kind of see the scenario like this. Now, this isn't actually how it is, I guess, but it could be, you know, if you look at it from the right angle. But, you know, the state of human life in the first world seems to be be born and play at will. And then go to school and be taught stuff, join causes you don't understand, become a teenager who is confused, advocate more causes you don't understand, become a parent, become an adult, in either order, cease to matter for the next 60 years. Then you become old and become a target for salesmen and advocacy groups wanting your retirement money. Uh, and then, you know, at, at the very end of your life, maybe you get to enjoy it a little bit while being absolutely drugged up and constantly afraid of some kind of huge social collapse. I mean, great. Fantastic. I'm glad I had that career and everything and all those kids. And I'm glad that my kids are going through the same cycle. So, yeah, you know, that, that, that's the scenario. It's very grim and dehumanizing. And yet, off and on, that's kind of how I feel about things, especially when I watch TV and I see these commercials or I see the modern state of gaming and how it's not just a big thing between 
PC users versus console users and PC games have to be dumbed down because console technology can't keep up with PC technology. You know, that, that argument, pff, who cares? PC Master Race. But I also like my Xbox. So, anyway, so you're basically born and special and awesome, but when you hit 18, you're expected to become a parent and start a career at the same time. You're also expected to have no goals of your own, no drives, no ambitions, and no desire for anything but funding your kids, government, and advocacy groups. Who want to influence your kids and government by not having kids and not funding advocacy groups? I only have the government dipping into my income, so I ultimately have more wealth to manage, but... I'm not wealthy at this point in my life, so if I get the future I want, then I will be a millionaire by the time I'm 50, just from making intelligent spending decisions and having a lack of mortal responsibilities. Mortal responsibility in this case being raising the next generation. You know, I, I don't, I don't have that. So, you know, it, it's. I forget the exact figure, but it's something like the average parent, by the time their kid turns 18, will have spent something like four or five million dollars on them. I mean, I I don't know where I got that figure. I I I think I might have had it under my hat here somewhere, but you know that that's it's a lot of money that every parent ends up spending on their kid one way or another and if you have multiple kids that's even more money and you know it just keeps rolling downhill from there uh, but I'll have all this money and you know I'll have my choice of where to live and I'll have my own career which I can focus my full energy on I'll have plenty of sleep but what's the downside there's gotta be a downside right well the obvious downside is I don't get to be a father or grandfather or great grandfather. I don't get to participate in continuing my own species by reproduction. I don't get to have a legacy, you know, where my DNA just gets passed down through the ages. I'm, uh. I'm, I'm it. I'm it. I'm the last of my, my line. And so once I go, our name is done. And I've I've had to wrestle with that, but I've come to accept it. Um, I'll keep my name alive through some sort of historical marker. Uh, I know YouTube's not going to be around forever, or else that'd be the obvious choice. Um, I'm also a writer, so. Uh, in case you haven't guessed, this is something I wrote. It started as a Facebook post, and then I was like, you know what, this is this is some really good stuff. I think I'll go ahead and make it into a video, which here you are watching it. But maybe at some point, you know, near the end of my life, I'll have a Scrooge moment, and I'll end up donating several billion dollars to orphanages or cancer treatment facilities, or some such and you know I'll have a hospital named after me or I'll have a research foundation named after me uh, it'd be something it'd be a nice legacy for people to remember my even if they've never met me you know they'll, they'll still pass by the by the brother J Memorial Hospital you know I mean <laughs> who wouldn't like that right so yeah I'm child free and I don't hate people who have children. That's just stupid. I feel bad for them more often than not because of how they're exploited by marketers and government and advocacy groups, but even more so for their personal struggles with trying to get through life. Um, they, they're they always struggling to get enough rest. They're always tired. Uh, they're always stressed about something. Um, you know, always trying to get enough hours at work, hoping that their paycheck would be big enough to handle the bills this month, and, oh, you know, my kid needs an operation, or, you know, my, my kids are sick, and I'm getting sick. I mean, stuff like that. Um, and, of course, they're also having to deal with their career, their job, 
and so they've got stress upon stress upon anxiety upon stress just piled up on them and they have to get through life like that and it's rough and it's it's something I don't I don't think I could handle I, I've got enough that I'm trying to handle now with getting my career going and keeping up with my hobbies and what little personal life I have and so it's it's rough as it is I can only imagine how much more difficult my life would be if I had kids because now I have to take care of them and I can't just screw up I can't be all like oh well I need uh, I need to take a week off from having kids you, you don't do that even when you go on vacation you're you're still thinking about them you're still worried that something's going to happen to them while you're while you're gone uh, maybe the babysitter will light the house on fire or something you know I mean so there's no end to it and like I said I, I know I'm I wouldn't be capable of dealing with that so instead of warping a child I'm just I'm, I'm bowing out of it and so it's a tough job and there's a lot of agony involved and there's a lot of pride that one can get out of you know going through that um, but that's a personal pride and as a result I'm not going to be spoken down to by someone who has children and I'm not going to be told that I just don't understand I do understand one doesn't have to be a parent to have been there as a guardian and I've been a guardian a number of kids in my time I know what it's like and I completely understand you know and it would be fair if those of us if those who have children would try and understand what it's like for those of us who don't have children we don't want to be a part of that world on a daily basis yes we all have random involvement with children and at times we want that interaction because the youth reminds us of our better days you know when when we could still laugh at the the goofy stuff and we can still you know think about how innocent we were and we didn't have any stress there was no such thing as anxiety in our lives the worst thing we worried about was getting in trouble getting a spanking or scolding or being grounded can you can you think about what that's like now as a grown-up don't you wish that was the worst you had to worry about yeah dude I'd take that in an instant you know uh, if I screw up now then it's like the least of what can happen is I get a reprimand at work um, and that's only a slight step up from being dock pay being fired going to jail uh, having my name blacklisted you know I mean I could get murdered by some irate customer who doesn't like our prices and they just decide to snap one day I mean there is a lot that every grown-up has to worry about and you know you don't have to worry about that stuff as a kid so when we choose to hang around kids it's by our choice and we get to remember what it is like and just be awed at the innocence of the the child that we're interacting with you know hey let's play a, a game of tic-tac-toe man that's cool I remember when that's all I wanted to do was just play tic-tac-toe and uh, Foursquare and hacky sack I mean you know there was just so much to do as a kid and you didn't have to worry about well if I do this what sort of important thing am I letting go you know so but yeah we've we've chosen our role in society for whatever reason you know we we've chosen not to have kids and that doesn't make us bad people and in my case you know I, I would hope that it makes me a better person because I realize that I've had the responsibility on a part-time basis and I realize and I know that I'm not fit for a full-time position with that role um, people tell me oh Jay you'd be a great parent yeah I probably would be for like two weeks and then I would be so burnt out and stressed out that I wouldn't be able to handle it anymore and you'd have to 
you have to commit me to the nut house. So I am a better uncle and godparent than I'll ever be an actual parent, and I know that, and so I'm cool with it. So therefore, realizing that, I also believe that it's perfectly okay to have a world that caters to me as well as you folks with kids. There are places I should be able to go to and, you know, there not be someone's children there. Uh, there are things I should be able to do that don't involve other children, other people's children being a part of it. It doesn't always have to be drugs and sex and drinking and violence. You know, it, it, it shouldn't. That's not what being an adult is all about. That's like one very small part of adulthood is, you know, getting to watch violent movies or have sex and that kind of thing. It, it, it's, it's Adult entertainment should not be the blanket statement covering just those things. Sometimes I would like a very deep philosophical interaction that makes me look at the world and, and analyze it through a different paradigm. You know, I can't do that with kids around because I have to stop and break down everything I'm saying, you know, into a, a, a level that they can comprehend and feel like they're part of the conversation. And it's, it's just, it, it's something that while it's a teaching moment, there are times I don't want to teach anybody that I want to be the student, not the teacher, if you get what I'm saying. So that's my point, and I would appreciate some common ground on all this. We've got plenty of room on this great big planet of ours, in every town, in every village, every city, no one needs to hog it all just because they had kids and I didn't. You know, there, there's no need for a debate of any kind. Just, just a little acceptance of others and their life choices. I mean, it's great that you're a parent. I'm really happy for you and I, you know, what prayers I have go out to you that everything works out great and your your kid becomes this just amazing paragon of awesomeness you know that's cool I hope it works out for you but for me I know that I can't do it and you know that's just a choice I've made it doesn't it doesn't mean I'm any better or worse than you it means I am also a human being and I've made different decisions and I'm just asking for a little a little respect, you know, a little a little balance here. You know, I understand that you love your kid and you want to be able to take a kid everywhere and that's fine. But there should also be places that if I want to get away from your kid, I should be able to do so without being a hermit hiding in my own house. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's it shouldn't be a bad thing. It shouldn't be a bad thing that I want something like that. And it's not a bad thing that you want to be around your kids. So, anyway, let's uh, let's try to see eye to eye here, alright? You and me, and parents and non-parents, and, you know, we, we don't have to argue about who's got it worse, because in the long run, we all got our trials. Ain't nobody got any easier or worse than anybody else. It only seems that way. But whether you have kids, whether you don't have kids, you still got the same people with their hand in your back pocket. Right? You take it easy, my friend. Stay frosty. Thank you!